Welcome back, Thrill Seekers. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Thanks, man. That's pretty good. So, this is Jim. Um, Jim Boot 2 on YouTube. Yeah, Jim Boot 2. And uh, Jim's here visiting for a quick bit. And we thought we'd make a, a little fun video. This is uh, the Pulse Motor Build Off 2012, I think. What do you think of this little thing? I love it. From, I, I think it was, was that the first one? I think so. I won. With yeah. one of these. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Not, not as good looking as this. Mine was like <laughs> bits of gaffer tape and blue and hot glue. And That's the point of the horse motor build up. It was pretty horrible. But uh, yeah, this is beautiful, this one. So uh, we're, yeah, I love it. So, about a week after this, mm -hmm. I built this. That's sweet. I love this one. And no one's ever seen this. I've never seen this one. So no we, one's ever seen this. I've never shown anybody but a few people who've so, actually come here. This one looks like it's going to be easier to tune because you've got your reeds out here. You can move it around. Well, the reeds are still the same on there. Let me get a, let me get a, put that one down. Let's get a close-up shot of that one. So, no one's ever seen this, but I did some testing on it. I think I ran three months on a 12-volt battery like this. Right. So just to no see, so it's not, yeah, so it charged, but it's not what you would think in the, the full potential of charging is what we think. But no one's ever seen this, so I thought while the thrill seeker is here, we would, uh, we would publish this one as, yeah, uh, yeah. as open source. So this is an Aussie motor. And it's self-starting too. It's self-starting. Yeah. So this is an Aussie motor and it's, uh, it's regenerative through these diodes mm -hmm. and it runs off of the two limit switches. Yeah. So the coils, I'm sorry, these aren't limit switches, these are reed mm -hmm. switches. Mm -hmm. So the reed switches, when they break, all the back EMF gets to go back freely through the diodes and back into the battery. Are those those reeds all right with 12 volt? Because I'd, sure. I'd burn out a bucket load of them. I believe you. I'm, these coils... <laughs> <laughs> rust, rust, yeah. the electric here just all burnt the place down. Yeah, I, yeah. So we're all just a bit nervous at the moment. I, earlier I decided to <laughs> short... Earlier I decided to short the positive across to the negative because I was a little uh, just not thinking. You can hook it up. Yeah, hook it up. Positive. Positive. Hook it there. There we go. Yep. Negative. Which side of the dial am I going? This yeah, yeah. Right. No, yeah, yeah, on the button, yeah. There you go. That's going to do the kick. Barely. There, there it goes. That is sweet. That, that's just a great little tabletop device. Both of these things are. Yeah. So I've decided I'm going to get this one out. And leave it on my on my desk and just let it run for weeks and see how long it goes. What size cap is this? That's a that's an actual three volt, oh, three point seven volt. volt lithium. It's just something right. I had laying around that yeah. I found. Yeah. But this one, I believe it was three months. Wow. I I put it in my yeah. locker at work. Yeah. And it ran on a on a seven amp hour battery for three. And these are used batteries. These aren't new batteries. Right. Yeah. So I don't know what the real potential is. Yeah, I think that I, I like this little motor because it's such a cool thing to play with, and it uses such low like, power. It's and, such low power, yeah, and it's easy. And actually, the uh, the easy spin from laser laser saber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's actually like an upped version of this, which yeah. is even just absolutely more efficient. Which yeah. which we should both play with eventually. Yeah, definitely. It's on my list of three D prints. To and those do. coils, they're just ones out of. Uh, those are twenty four volt solenoid coils. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, twenty four volt DC on those guys. Yeah. Yep, so there you go. Published for all to see. The thrill seeker did it. He made me do it. He held my neck down to the table and was like, you will publish this. I drove through Death Valley. <laughs> he did Literally. drive through Death Valley. But he didn't die. I didn't. Uh, no, so, I nearly did. I'm going to let drive in the country again. According to my wife. Uh, <laughs> wrong side of the road, wrong side of the car. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well. Oh, you're all sideways and stuff. That's better. Excellent work, man. Just have a little fun. And I got, I got a tour of the lab, guys, and seriously, it yeah. is awesome. No one else has got the whole view yet. Uh, it's not really finished. There's one detail I'm waiting on finishing before I can do it. Yeah. So we'll have to get to that. Yeah. No, it's, um, it's pretty awesome. You're going to like it. You're going to like it a lot.
Very, very thankful I am. Yeah, I saw the polystyrene cover as well, up yeah. close, and he really did smash it. He really did use a drill bit too big. <laughs> oh, I was mad. It was good though. It was good. I was mad. Thanks for chilling, man. You are. Thanks for coming to Death Valley to come see me. Ah, that's right. The only reason I came to LA. You gotta go back. Not through Death Valley. Oh, good. So catching a plane to San Francisco. You'll be all right. <laughs> no Thank you. Take care. I'm glad you're here. Any last words? Uh, no, just uh, keep experimenting and keep watching Russia's just stuff. It's good. Yeah, go check out Jim's channel. I'll link it Jim in the. Too. I'll, I'll really link it in the done. description. Yeah. Oh, do you want to tell anybody what you normally do though? If you're oh, interested. Normally, digital marketing. If you need digital marketing, I'm your man. Go to Jim Boot. That's the real day job. This is fun stuff. Man. This is fun stuff. Yeah. Check it out. Stuart Media. Yeah, Stuart Media or Jim Boot on YouTube. This guy's been on like national TV a few times. I remember. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's alright. Bit of fun.